Hi, I'm Sandy and welcome to Life with Sandy. Well, hello. Today is Sunday, January 29th, and we only have one birthday. Today is Eli's birthday, and Eli is Susie Bowie's um, son. So, Eli, you're all by yourself today. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Eli. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Well, I hope you have a great birthday today, Eli. <sighs> I don't have any plans for today and yet another day. Sometimes you just kind of wonder, what's the point of today? <laughs> um, I have a Zoom call later on this afternoon with my family, so I'm looking forward to that. Jim and I are going to watch the football games today. Uh, we, well, I don't know about Jim, but I don't have a favorite to win, so it doesn't matter to me who wins. And then, uh, so we're going to watch that. Last night we started to, no, I should say we tried to watch all Quiet on the Western Front. Uh, it's on Netflix. It's up for an Academy Award. It was awful. We gave, we both gave it a full hour. It was a two and a half hour movie. We gave it a full hour. And I kept thinking, I wonder if he doesn't like the movie and he's just not saying anything. And so finally I just said, are you liking this movie? And he says, no, I didn't. I thought maybe you were liking it. And I go, no, I'm not liking it either. So uh, we got out of that real quick, and then we watched uh, Road to Perdition with Tom Tom Hanks, which is my favorite oh, Tom Hanks movie. He's done a lot of good movies. I'm not saying that. But for some reason, I just love this movie. I love the music, and I don't know. It's just, I have actually have the soundtrack on my phone because <laughs> I love the music so much. I did like him in um, The Terminal. I have that soundtrack on my phone, too, because I love that. I like a lot of background music. I, when I watch movies, I watch a lot of the background scenes. Jim and I are always looking for bloopers. We always find a blooper somewhere. The road in the road per, to perdition, the blooper is not to ruin it for anybody, but the movie's like twenty years old, <coughs> so I'm sure you've seen it before. But um, Jude Law, they're in a cap, the, the little roadside cafe, you know, like a little trailer, having their dinner, and he's talking, and he's like loading his camera, talking to Tom Hanks. And then in the very next scene, he's pouring sugar and a cup of coffee that mysteriously showed up out of nowhere. So um, that was a blooper we caught. But so look for it. And so when you see that blooper, when you're watching the movie, just say, you know what? Sandy saw that. She pointed it out for me. We always point out bloopers. We always You can find so many. Our favorite one we want to find is so that we can't remember what movie it was from. It was from one of Jim's old movies on Turner Classic Movies. And it was the train station being pulled in, pulling into the station. The reason I say being pulled into the station is because you could see the ropes as they were pulling the train into the station, which I'm sure was not supposed to be on there. But uh, we, we don't know the name of the movie. And so every time there's an old movie on with the train, we always look to see if that's the movie we're thinking of. But uh, so then Jim went out to breakfast with his friends today. Um, I just stayed home. I didn't go. I didn't go to church today. Um I no excuse. I just I just didn't go. And then uh, um, for breakfast, I had some toast and some egg, bacon and eggs. I made my own breakfast. So bacon, eggs, and toast. I don't know what I'm going to have for dinner. Last night for dinner, I did have a salad. I did end up having a salad last night. And I put some guacamole, avocado on it. And um, I put some strawberries in it. And I had some uh, Thousand Island dressing and some cottage cheese. But that's all. And I had a cookie. I had a chocolate chip cookie. Not a store-bought, a bakery store-bought. Uh, not a, a bakery uh, cookie. Not a store-bought cookie. Although it was like, it was from BJ's. So it's technically a store-bought cookie. But um, it's from the bakery department. So it was, I consider that a bakery cookie. And then, um, other than that, I'm just trying to, I think the theme for this week for um, uh, Weight Watchers is to keep it simple. And so that's my plan for this week is I'm going to try to keep it simple. I'm going to plan out a menu for the week. I haven't thought about that yet, but I'm going to think of something I'm going to use as a guideline 
uh, for my menu. I will show you my food again starting tomorrow. I just don't usually show it on the weekends just because I get busy doing this and that. And I don't have as much structure on the weekend, which is why I don't do as well on the weekend is because I don't have as much structure. So I have to work on that. Um, I'm just so looking forward to getting outside. I just really, I'm just, I'm just, you know, like when you see these people are on house arrest and you think, oh, they got it made. They're on house arrest. Well, you know, it is better than being in jail. I'll give them that much. But uh, I kind of feel like I'm in house arrest here. I'm not going anywhere. not doing anything. And it gets, it gets boring. It gets old. I was going to go to the bank yesterday because I had to transfer some money around from one bank to another bank. I know I can do it. Uh, online, but it takes a couple days and I don't trust it sometimes. And so it's just easier to go to the one bank, get the money and move it into another bank. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. That's my plan for tomorrow. And then um, Danny had got me, um, uh, uh, my kids complain that there's not enough internet in my house, but you know, like they don't take into consideration. There's like 10 people on it all at the same time. So I had asked for a booster for Christmas and Danny had got me one and he couldn't figure out, I couldn't figure out how to connect it. So when Danny came over one day, I asked him if he could figure it out and he couldn't figure out how to connect it. So on Thursday, when Aaron came, who's my tech guy, who's Christy's husband, um, he, it turns out I had the wrong one. So um, that's why it wasn't working for the wrong system that I have. So Danny's going to, Danny took it back and uh, he's just going to get me a gift card for somewhere else. And I'm going to um, contact my AT&T to see if I can, I guess because Christy got a booster thing from them. So I think I'm going to contact them to see how much that would cost and just use the gift card towards that. And what else? So, I mean, it's just, just I'm trying to keep it simple. I think that I, I, I need to um, think about what I can do in a day rather than thinking about the whole year. Like I told you, my whole plan for the whole year is just to lose my weight. Uh, I, I haven't set a goal on how much weight I want to set, you know, like I want to lose. I just know that I, you know, I'm happy between a half a pound and a pound. Um, I have got my appetite back. So uh, we'll see how I do tomorrow with my weigh-in. I, um, I haven't been making the smartest choices, but I haven't been making the worst choices either. I just have to look at the whole picture of things and just think of things that I can do to make things my my life a little bit simpler, and um, and I think it's not stressing so much about my food intake, which I'm falling back into that pattern of falling into the fact that I'm thinking about food all the time, and and I don't like that because that's when I was doing really poorly when I was always thinking about food and thinking, well, I got to eat now because it's like such and such a time. I, well, I better eat, you know. I know that you have to eat to lose weight, but I think for the time period when I was so sick and not losing weight, I wasn't really eating, but I still wasn't losing weight. And so what I got to think about is what I can do in a single day each day to make myself be more recommitted to my plan and um, realize that if, if I can do it for one day, I can stretch it into two days and then into three days, into a week, into a month, into the whole year. When I was so promising on my plan, when I was doing so well on my plan, uh, I wasn't looking into the future so much. I was just thinking about today's the day. This is the day I'm going to have this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And I kept it very simple. So I think that what I need to do is get back to that frame of mind. I look back at pictures when I was 40 pounds lighter. And I, in myself, looking at them, just saw that I looked... Old. I don't know. I none of them. I look. I, in my opinion, I looked older and didn't feel as comfortable. And I'm not trying to make excuses that I'm overweight because this is not what I'm trying to do. Because I do need to lose the 40 pounds. I really do. But sometimes I'm wondering if, like at my age, is my body just so accustomed to having all this weight on me that uh, it's fighting to keep it, and so I have to fight a little bit harder to lose it. Um. I've been the same range of weight for the last 50 years. So is this where my body's pretty much comfortable with? I know I'm not comfortable with it. So um, I think that I have to get past thinking so elaborately and so, and just keep it a little more simple, I guess. It's my theme for the week is just to keep it simple. Like keep it simple, stupid. It's like what they say. Uh, I need to, I need to be doing something more like that because, uh, I'm just, um, 
I, I'm like over analyzing things. Uh, the prime example is my puzzle. Let me show you my puzzle. Okay, we are beyond exasperated. That's what the picture looks like. Let me show you a little bit better. That's what it's supposed to look like. So we know the top should be all a little bit of gray on the tops. I'll show you a picture here. A little bit of gray on the top, dark gray across. We've been through all of the trays four times looking for end pieces and we can't find any. The ends like this looks bright with the trees and the snow and the fence and the little bit of grass and then the more snow coming down. But this also looks right going up over into there, but that piece doesn't, doesn't go into there. So, and then on the bottom, this goes perfectly. A little open space with this here, but from this point to here goes perfectly over here too. And then on this side, this looks like it's perfect because it's the snow. But then here we go again, that it all matches up perfect. So we are, we got a little bit of the center done, a little bit of the fence. But we are exasperated to say the least. We have extra pieces. I don't know what we're gonna do. We're both walking away for now. Okay, Jim and I took time figuring it out and Jim figured it out that we had it the wrong way. That we were measuring across being 26 and then up and down 19 and a half, whereas it was the other way around. So now we have the, old, the whole outside border done. So now we can, now we can begin. Okay, Jim and I were really over exaggerating that puzzle because we could see how the pieces, like I showed you, like these should go here and these should go here. And we weren't looking at the obvious problem. And the obvious problem, which took us two days to figure out, which is sad to say, because we started the puzzle yesterday morning and well, maybe like 24 hours it took, not a full 24 hours, but you know, like, because we didn't work on it constantly. But from yesterday morning, was it yesterday morning that I started the puzzle or was it Friday? I think I started it on Friday. See, you know, when you're when you're in house arrest, the days just mingle all together. They all run one, one to the next. It doesn't really matter because what happened was we kept taking the measurements and we're so used to doing a puzzle where it's like 19 and a quarter inches this way and then 26 and a half inches this way. And that's why we kept measuring it. And I showed you on the puzzle how, no, these pieces definitely go here, but these definitely go here. And we worked on it, worked on it, worked on it. I finally walked away. Jim sat down and then he called me in maybe a half an hour later and he says, you know what I think? And then, then he showed me. And it was just a matter of keeping it simple, turning it around and realizing that the 19 was was the uh, going across, was the horizontal and the vertical was the 26 and a half, which we've never even considered because we knew we had all of the pieces. And we knew that and part of us was thinking that we had another puzzle with us, that it was like somehow we got two puzzles. And I thought, there's no way we got two puzzles. It's just that we're not figuring this out. So keeping it simple and figuring it out the right way was the way to do it. And so my plan for the week is just to keep it simple, not overly um, analyze what I'm going to have this to eat and that to eat and this to do and this to that to do. I'm just going to keep it simple and follow my plan and have a really good weight loss next week because... Um, I, I'm i not going to have a loss tomorrow. I know this. Um, I know how I ate on Friday. Uh, I went out to eat on Friday. Um, I, Thursday, as much as I tried to be on plan, I know that I probably went a little overboard on Thursday. I have to be good. I hate to say good. I have to be more on plan for all seven days if I want to lose weight. I slip up one or two days, and that's a, that's a gain. And I wonder how all those years, if how I didn't constant, which I did, but I maintained like a certain weight, like between like a 15 or 20 pound thing all my life. And unfortunately, I'm falling back into that pattern and I don't want to do that again. So I want to just want to get back to not being so dramatic with my food choices and, and just 
you know, I, I am getting a little bored with my food, but not bored enough that I'm going to attempt to do anything else. So I have to figure out some different ways of getting around my... The thing is, like, I love a good bowl of cereal. So I think a lot of times what I should go back to is pretty much sticking to the Weight Watcher plan. But going back to calorie counting also, because I think that when I did both of them at the same time, which was a lot of work, which kind of played into the fact that I'm thinking this is, this is getting complicated, and I don't want to do that again. But occasionally I like to have a good bowl of cereal. I just like to have a bowl of cereal, but there's so many points and it just throws my mind off. And then my mind goes, boom, just explodes. It goes, poof, because I see like just a bowl of Rice Krispies is like 13, 14 points. And it's just a bowl of cereal. Although you've seen that I can have my cheese and my toast and all that and in an equal out of 13 point breakfast without any problem. But I am getting back to the larger quantity sizes rather than the quality of the food. So I have to get back to more of a quality driven aspect of my food and then um, get my mind thinking a little bit differently because my mind thinks I need to eat all of this food. They say that when you get older, you require less food and less sleep. Well, you know, I do require less sleep, but I, I, st I still require a lot of food. And it's not that I require it. My mind thinks I require it because I really don't think my body requires it. I think it's an emotional response that I'm doing, and uh, I have to figure that one out. <laughs> so I've been figuring out a lot of things this last month, let me tell you. My mind is just going, ah, <laughs> so I have to um, calm down a little bit. So, But anyway, what are your suggestions for me to keep it simple? I just, uh, I, I just, I, I don't know. I tried different things. I've tried eating a breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I've tried eating every couple hours. I've tried eating just a little bit here and a little bit there. And um, I, I, I think what I need to try is just stop being so consumed with thinking it's time to eat. I think that's my problem. I need to get rid of all my clocks because, although I don't really look at them that often, but it's just kind of like a reminder, like, oh my gosh, it's time to eat breakfast or you should eat lunch. It's getting too close to dinner, you know, or, you know, I, I don't know, so... Yeah, okay, that's going to do it. I'm going to go back and work on the puzzle a little bit before I have my Zoom call and uh, try to stay on plan the rest of the No, stay on plan the rest of the day. Not try. Stay on plan the rest of the day. So if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, leave a comment, hit the like button, share if you think somebody might like to see it. I will talk to you guys tomorrow and we will keep it simple. How's that sound?